welcome to my channel so today's video is about how you can drop your database through GUI and TCQL commands so I have three topics to cover today drop a database through TCQL command drop database through GUI and uh, the third and last one is close all connections before dropping database so let's get started and open your SSMS okay now I have these databases and uh, which one I have to delete is uh, the database called technical those so i will first show you how you can create drop your database through tcql command so write the command here drop database and sorry database name so i have the name here technical those and i'll just fire this and uh, it is executed successfully and refresh here and you can see the database has been dropped now this is the first uh, topic which i covered now I'll, I'll just create the database again for you guys database hold on Just fire this and the database has been created again now uh, you can delete this database through GUI okay for this you need to just click here and uh, delete just press ok your database is deleted and I'm creating this again and show you what uh, the consequences may occur while you are dropping your database okay now you are in a database called master you are currently using a database master if you are using the database technical those and you just need to fire the query drop database technical those okay now if i open one more query and use this one data base if you drop this you will get an error that is cannot drop database technical those because it is currently in use now why this occurs because you are working in the same databases okay you are working in the database you're firing queries in the database okay so this scenario can happen to you so to avoid this uh, you need to know which user is which login name or which user login is uh, has a open connection for this database so you need to first close that connection and after that you can always uh, drop your databases because uh, this scenario can happen suppose uh, you are working on a pc and uh, uh, trying to delete that database and some other uh, some other uh, you know developer is using that database and firing some query then it will you know it will not allow to drop your database because it is in use by another process so to know uh, which process which the user is connecting to your database and which user is using your database you need to know the process okay so write this select star from use the view called sys dot processes okay fire this now uh, you can see db id here but we don't know what is the db id of our database so one more view is here called sys dot database okay Databases, sorry. Just okay. What is the DBID? Is uh, six. So we just write here where DBID equals to six. Now you can see we have two connection as you can see this is a local machine and I'm just uh, just I am using this database nobody else is using so I have to uh, open connection of this database okay this has the SPID 52 and 59 okay now uh, one method is to kill this uh, processes is writing the kill and what is your SPID is 52 now uh, this scenario 
can work on your local machine but in case if you are uh, working on a global database uh, you cannot kill that uh, connection simply you just need to take the permission or you don't have the you know essential permission to kill this process okay so i'll show you this method to close all the connections before dropping your databases so uh, you need to close the connections so i'll not recommend to use this uh, kill kill and uh, write your spit because it won't work in every case okay so just i just show you next method this is the uh, gui method okay now just click on this delete here is a option called close all close existing connections okay just click there and script out see this is the script this is the you know the script work fine uh, uh, by closing all the connections okay so this is there is a, uh, a line uh, you know that alter database and uh, set to single user with rollback immediate so it will it will always close other connections first and then uh, fire this query drop database okay this uh, has to be fired it will always uh, close the connection so okay, i'll just fire this and uh, it will close the connection and then uh, drop the database okay execute okay completion okay uh, what it has written here a uh, non qualified transaction are being rolled back and estimated rollback completion 100% so it has uh, rolled back all the connection there and uh, suppose if you are firing any query uh, in your window it will just immediately roll back that uh, query and uh, drop your database okay so i'll recommend to use this method only uh, i hope this is all about today's video i hope you learned something thank you so much for watching see you in my next video till then bye